Oh, oh, it smells like soap and poop. <laughs> Back here we have a mix of rat poop. <laughs> We're gonna make it look really good because we gotta get ready for the turbo. Talking about turbo though, stay to the end of the video because... Okay, I just thought of something while making this video. I'm gonna put this in the very beginning, but if you guys wanna see me redo the whole engine bay, which I feel like I've been saying this for years. Polish the plano, make it look pretty, make it look nice. I'm not gonna be too pushy. If you guys would like, smash that subscribe if you have not already. I believe around 70% of you that are watching right now have not yet subscribed. So go ahead and smash that. Most importantly, comment below if you ever had a situation like this or how I can fix it. But viewer discretion is advised. What you're about to see is absolutely disgusting. It's really bad. So recently we have had a really bad case of rats. Not inside the house. But around the house, in the backyard, and most importantly, in the engine bay of my babies. This has probably been going on for a couple months now. We bought two traps, and we got two of them. I'm gonna put in some footage now. This was a few months back. I never put this in the vlogs, but this is me preparing for war against the army of rats. We came to Walmart because we're gonna show them who we are. We're not just gonna let them come poop on, my, on our property and leave. No, they're gonna pay. That's why we came to Walmart. Is that one I see? All right, first trap down. They try to get into the engine bay. Bam! No twin turbo for you. And well, for a couple months now, we've been on war with rats. But here's the thing. So in our backyard, we have a bunch of trees. We have a mango tree, and then here we have a tree that's of something called ciruela, which is absolutely amazing. It's kind of like a Cuban fruit. Everybody that I love that I've had on the podcast, even Jack, they love this fruit. Go, 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 go. You gotta bite, and then you gotta suck in it, dude. That's good, right? What the hell? <laughs> this is a Cuban fruit, bro. Mm. 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 But the thing when you have fruits is they fall onto the ground. Same with the mangoes. Which season's over. Did you guys know that mango season and ciruela season is only for like a couple weeks, not even a month? I may be wrong, buddy. It ended pretty quick. Aside from the trees back here, we have this little shed, this little house. By the way, I have a 370Z hood and fenders if any of you want to buy it. But back there, all the way back there, I believe that's where the army stays. Now I can infiltrate them and just go absolutely ham, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm scared. We caught one of the intruders right up there, and intruder number two we caught under my Nissan 300ZX. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Literally the very next day I come over here, the first thing I see, rotten ciruela seed, look at this. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting. So here we have one ciruela seed right here. Obviously rats eating it. This is like their little nest. Here we have here we have ciruela seed number two. Back here we have a mix of rat poop, food, and it smells absolutely horrendous. Oh my gosh. Oh. You can just see like that's rat poop right there. We also have another ciruela seed. Man, it's just bad. Rats have basically created a whole nest. It, this is like their dining table right here. They feel safe. They're under the roof. It's nighttime. It's all nice and warm because it's the engine bay. They're chilling in here. And if you're like Danny, just let the rats do their thing, bro. It's good. Like they're not gonna mess anything up. You're weird, buddy. You're weird. You're weird. It's not gonna happen. So we're gonna start off with cleaning the whole engine bay, making it go from this to this. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we did that. For that, let's go on to car number two. Oh my gosh. As you can see, catch cans are absolutely disgusting. All this up here, ah, oh, just horrible. You can see up in here where the coil over normally is, disgusting. Bunch of leaves. Here you can see their coolant reservoirs, absolutely horrific. Yeah, man, the rats are doing work. Oh, never mind, there's poop right there. I was about to slap, and there's a poop right there. 
But yeah, this was not gonna be that bad. Whew. All right, so I was gonna go to the gym, can't use the 300, the 370Z because, uh, yeah. Oh, what the f was that? Oh my gosh, what is that? What is, stop it, stop it, go away. And well, the battery's dead. And the old me would've been like, damn, not gonna go to autos and charge the battery or whatnot. Oh shoot. But, check this out, I have this little device from AW, I think you say ADU, ADU, something like A-U-D-E-W. This is basically, it can charge your phone through through uh, right here, USB ports, and it also has like a jumper cable terminal. And check out how cool this is, check it out, check this out. Ah, oh, that's so sick, so we're gonna try it off for the first time, and it should work, if it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. All right, so you plug it in like this, bam. And then you should, negative to negative, negative to negative, positive to positive, and I'm pretty sure I can just, wait, do I have to click to start? Oh yeah, now I think it's charging. So we're gonna try and start up again, and see if that was the main problem. Should start. Oh my gosh, that started way too quick. Oh, now we know it works. And this thing is still at 100%. So I'm just gonna leave it here for a little bit. I'm actually gonna take it with me to the gym just in case, but dude, this thing is awesome. Link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. And in the link will be also a discount code for like 20% off. So go ahead and take advantage of this because this thing is actually sick. And as a car guy, I believe we should have a couple gadgets. One, a little compressor in our car that we can put air in the tire at any time. And two, a portable battery charger like this. So if you don't have one, recommend. I highly recommend this one. With that being said, we're gonna use very simple items to go ahead and clean everything. First, we're gonna do a dry clean, and then we're gonna do a wet clean. You're gonna need soapy water, some rags, microfiber towels that I'm gonna get in a little bit. We are gonna be using a vacuum, and then we're gonna be using... <laughs> to dry things off from wherever I can't get to, and just blow the dirt out of there. Here we go. Oh, what the? You good, bro? What even just happened? Oh, that smells so bad. <laughs> bro, these rats ate more ciruelas than me and Jack combined. But here we go. That's pretty much gone. There's no more. Uh, this thing isn't as disgusting anymore. We got all up in there all the way down there. Oh Man, it doesn't smell horrible anymore. It still smells bad, but not as bad <laughs> Yo, so If you guys don't already know I should have a podcast called shift in motion there talk about everything We have a ton of fun, but check this out. So back here. There used to be like a huge tarp and this is like the little Sitting area podcast studio. I'm gonna put a clip right now. What happened to our setup? Dude, that was bad. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, link in the description to check out the new setup, because it's actually really cool. Right, we're gonna use this for what the vacuum couldn't do. Actually, before we get into the soapy water and all that good stuff, I kinda wanna like brush like all this and kinda get the dirt unstuck from all the metal. Kinda bring the dirt up, look at that. Bit here. And by the way, this side is not nearly as bad as the other side. I got some soapy water. Oh man, disgusting down there. Woo! Look at that, it's already coming off. Oh, it smells like soap and poop. <laughs> That feels so wrong, but so right at the same time. Check out this side that we just cleaned up right now. Nice and glossy, the tubes are clean. Check out this side that we have not even touched. Oh, dirty, look at the tubes all dusty, bro. Nah, we're not about that life. We're not about that life. You try this back side off. This is really throwing me off though. The only rusted part that's kind of scary on this car, which is not really rusted, it's just surface rust, is this right here. Plate for the battery as well as like. Ugh. 
Look at this. <laughs> Mr. Clean. Obviously, the Kevlar. There's my girl. Come, hey, come, come here. Come here, Mr. Let me see. Come here. So, how's your day going? That's good. Have you seen the rats? You've seen them, right? Have you have you ca caught one? Oh my goodness, are you gonna just kiss me? Look at that. Dang. You got all this clean. All this clean. Oh man, I'm loving it. There you go. Did it feel so weird throwing water at the car? I don't throw water everywhere. There you go. But before we leave for the night, here we go. We ain't playing no more. We ain't playing no more. So I'm not gonna record, but I just checked and we got two out of two, baby. We got one under the car. And then we got a second one. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, lots of cleaning later. Are you guys ready to see how it turned out? Because it's so freaking good. It's much better than I thought it was going to turn out. I'm not even going to lie. Like, all right, check it out. <laughs> Dude, this actually looked really good, but okay, let's go to the next day. As you guys saw, that turned out way better than I thought. I know that that still looks white back there, but it's like nearly impossible to paint the engine bay back there. I mainly only did this because my friend actually painted this side. Forgot to paint that and to protect it from like further surface rust. And just so it looks much better because I mean, wow, that looks so much better now. And then this side, it wasn't much to it. I just went ahead and cleaned everything. That's why it looks so glossy and good. Look at that. <laughs> Will it turn on though? Aguida, will it turn on? I don't know. Forgot about that. For the 370Z, I'm actually not gonna talk at all. I'm just gonna do a long time lapse. Just really focusing, just cleaning the car, listening to something. But we're gonna be doing the same thing. We're gonna vacuum first, then uh, wet soap or soapy water, dry down, then spray it with the hose, and then dry again, and just keep doing that. And with the brush, clean little areas. We're gonna make it look really good because we gotta get ready for the turbo. Talking about turbo, they'll stay to the end of the video because the turbo is done. So if you wanna see that, like little clip they sent me, stay to the end of the video. With that being said, though, let's get cleaning the engine bay for the turf ski. <laughs> Look at that man. Cooling reservoir is now clean. There's no more junk anywhere. This thing looks brand new from 2021. Let's go, dude. Turbo ready. <laughs> oh 
fall of the piping is done. Still have to finish some welds, obviously, but it is fully run. The money.